Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the explanation. So from today I'll be starting series on Fortran introduction to Fortran programming. So in this uh, series we'll be covering both theory and solved question. Okay. So I'll be creating a different playlist for this Fortran series and I'll be uploading the videos. So we'll cover both theory and program as well as old question discussion. Okay. So please updated with please get updated with us. Let's start with the introduction. First of all, introduction to Fortran. So, one question from theory part can be asked from this portion, introduction to Fortran. First of all, first point is Fortran. Fortran stands for what is the full form of Fortran? It is formula translation. It is one of the oldest programming language we can say. Okay, it is one of the oldest programming language and it was developed by it was developed by John Bacchus in 1957. So when it was developed it was totally used for it was we can say it was used or designed for scientific and engineering computation. Okay, so it was also used for mathematical, mainly the domain in which it was uh, used was mathematical and you can say mathematical, numerical or scientific application okay so there are many versions that has been revised till now for example the first version was fortran uh, let me uh, clear this screen okay so talking about various versions of fortran the first version was fortran 1957 this is the first version again the second version that came was fortran 2 this is for fortran third version was fortran 4 again the next version was fortran 66 next version was fortran 77 next was fortran 90 and the latest standard version was fortran 95 but most commonly we use this version that is fortran 77 this is one of the most popular versions that we use today. Okay, talking about the char characteristics of Fortran, how it is different from C or what are the various characteristics of Fortran. So again, this can be asked in exam. Okay, this, this portion can be asked in exam. So, the first characteristics is it is not case sensitive. Okay, it means that in Fortran, small a in capital A are same thing. It is not case sensitive. Next is, it is very simple. It is very simple to understand. There are no syntax, nothing is there. So, it is very simple to understand. And also, it is very easy to learn. Next is, the program that are written in, program written in Fortran are portable okay again the program written in Fortran are machine independent and also it has rich library files Okay, so these are some of the five characteristics of Fortran which you can write if they ask in exam. Let's go to next portion. So uh, here I'm covering the theory portion. Let's go to next portion that is what are the limitations or we can say the disadvantage of Fortran programming. Okay, so first disadvantage is it has very poor or little string handling function, poor string handling function it has.
okay also limited loop controls are there looping functions or loop control syntax are very limited next is there is no dynamic memory allocation no dynamic memory allocation okay again the next is structure type struct type is not available in this available in this and code reusability we can say reusability is very difficult okay it is very difficult to re reuse the code which is written in fortran right so these are some of the uh, we can say limitations so this is a theory portion so here the uh, from here question can be asked from 2 to 4 marks that is what is fortran or what are the various characteristics of fortran or what are the limitations of fortran so it covers only 2 to 4 marks so i think this much is um, uh, okay for a theory portion so in next video i'll be covering the uh, structure of fortran okay or i'll be discussing about one first program how to write a program in fortran so please be updated with us also i'll be uh, adding the coding or the programs of fortran in the same playlist thank you and stay safe